So I made my first clay sculpt head, but I decided to make another one and another one and another one to use a mold to pour liquid latex in and to do several layers until it's fully thickened and so I can peel it off, just like they make rubber masks. And you're probably wondering why? Well, because I wanted Kenny to have four different expressions and have them swappable. The handle will be separated to the barrel. I will be using PVC pipe that will be used as an interlocking system. It was a complete struggle for me. And note to sell, my years on making props never rush things because they will end up not working as you thought or planned or dry properly. This will take me months, as I hoped to get Kenny done quicker as possible. I was also thinking of making a bounty hunter outfit costume, considering that I may already got projects in my mind at the moment. Maybe it's the adrenaline. I was hoping to get things this done first. That's not how reality works. And you just make yourself this out of a contest for other people. Uh, already always ahead of you, especially when this. But I also decided to make fan art. In the game, there's an entire world of these alien guns. I've seen people on Facebook design them with their own personality and something that feels like it belongs in the game, which was pretty cool. I too included did the exact same thing. First one is Jimmy. Yes, he looks like Kenny, but he is the opposite. He's quite sinister and villainous in his own way. Once was imprisoned, he has a soft spot for you by being the opposite. And in the end, his good side appears more while still trying to deny it. He's a lot like Kenny in terms of how he functions, but that's about it. His voice I had in mind for Jimmy, someone impersonate on uh, Jack Nicholson. All right, here's another one, Raven. A lot like Creature, but she's more of a goth Gatlian and overall smart with an attitude. But she's obsessed with death. She fires these black crystals that affect enemies like the plague that can control one enemy to find another enemy or completely kill them with a crystal virus that takes over and spreads the other enemies and will kill them which sometimes creates more ammo for you anyway i came up with a few more like this knife named daisy it was a bit like knifey but not aggressive daisy has this child personality that doesn't understand but finds it funny she even giggles at it out of excitement which i thought would be really messed up but funny and twisted since the game's kind of like that I had an idea for a rocket launcher. That's like a general soldier. He screams at you for wasting ammo if you don't hit the target and having options on different cameo style skin designs and having sunglasses. Besides the weapons, I had an idea for a mindless detector for items throughout the game that makes sounds like beep boop beep boop beep. He doesn't talk besides me. He doesn't look at you, his eyes are further apart. He'd... And I had one more idea. I thought it would be cool to have a taser. He's like an officer, but no barrel in him. So he's not a gun, but his antennas that spark, electrocute the enemy as a good melee weapon. I thought that'd be a good idea. I was also thinking about different art designs or bounty hunters, but I haven't got around to it just yet. And I want to thank you to, he will be remain anonymous, but he made amazing work. He got far ahead of me and probably other people. He did 3D printed replicas of Gatlian guns. Nearly all of them, except for two, like, um, let's do it and the other one, I can't remember his name, but we were both collaborating, we became friends, we were just sharing ideas, our interests and work. I want to credit him, got around to having this idea for like a sequel. After the drug overlord being destroyed and viewed in the factory industry, the G3 are now into hiding as well. And rescued in the factory industry, the G3 are now into hiding as well, or doing anything to live. Earth of humankind has been built back years later, while you hunt down Dr. Gulagar, I think that's how you pronounce that, I could be totally wrong, but you hunt him down and interfered one of his works, a warp travel experiment, that you end up losing your friends which 
separates you from your guns and everyone else, you end up on a planet and find a gun you thought was Kenny. Leaves a departure but looks and shares Kenny's abilities. Turns out you jumped a year into the future since Dr. Gulugar has bad intentions for the universe. You try your best finding your way back by going forward and take down Dr. Gulagar, but the professor has taken hold of, of Blim City and other such places and has an army that is more powerful than the G3 and would kill any leftover G3 as they are discarded as weak and not high level ranking. And as you are on alert by the, the evil scientist, he has put a bounty on you and a lot of bounty hunters are out to hunt you to claim the reward except one who isn't good or bad but you have side missions with and wants you to join her side that would lead you to a dark side of this path you get to make the decision but you also get side missions on hunting aliens who are still smuggling what's left of the human drugs and you have side missions of finding lost gatlians and you could keep or sell to someone who helps you with the resistance and trying to get back to the, your timeline. Now, that was the idea I kind of had. It's not much, but it's sort of like a what a sequel could happen. Before I end this, I gotta mention about something. I had no idea that Justin Rowland, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, but the founder of the game development studio, Squanch Games, and who voices Kenny's character, that he has controversy on him, being arrested for domestic violence charges and re and kicked out from the studio. Which is a downright shame, not because he destroying his own career, but to any fan of him that loves his work or loved him in Rick and Morty and such, would be considered heartbroken. I don't really pay attention to the media and all that kind of stuff, so I don't know if this is legit or not. It seems very highly. Um, there's other allegations besides being domestic abuse, but eh, I don't know. But I will consider not thinking about him in mind while wor working on my stuff, props and costumes that are based on his work. And I insist that everyone would think the same on from that case. If, uh, if they are struggling at the moment on what to do while they're working on stuff that is based on his stuff just don't think about him being connected with the stuff even though he made what you love to do with the game the tv show just don't think about him okay if that is the case anyway i just had to bring that up uh because it just happened abruptly and when i was writing this i had no idea so yeah all the shady shit i had no idea i hope you liked this video and yes i am not feeling the greatest today considering that i sound a bit off here and there uh plus i just woke it up but anyway i hope you liked this video please check out my facebook page links in the descriptions down below and remember i'll see you in the future Bye bye